In this effect, we can see the image uh, inside the text and also we can see the drop shadow we did here is a black shade combined with the image. So let's start and with this effect we have used the clipping mask and more nice effect. So let's start. I will go back and we start everything from the beginning. So first control N, choose print or web, but for me it's more convenient to use web, it's 300 resolution, also the landscape is dependent here. Create. So I'm going to take some image from here and I'm going to drag there. Let's do Ctrl T or Command T or Macintosh and let's make this bigger. It's important to use a thick font, not thin, a thick font. Let's start to type text and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to make this bigger. How much I can to cover the old image. It's going to be amazing effect if you want to create advertisement and stuff. So the image should be above the text. And then I'm going to do on the layer, right click, not on this area, only here. Right click and create clipping mask. So we have the image inside the text. We can adjust where we want to put the image. And it's important after that to do Command G or Ctrl G to have this on group. We're going to do this later on. So I'm going to open new layer and I'm going to create this se selection here. Yeah. And right click and feather. Let's put 40. It doesn't matter because everything will be inside the mask. Let's do something 50. And right click fill, or shift backspace, black. You can do different colors as well. You have here more colors. And OK. And select, deselect, or control D. I will go to the move tool and I'm going to duplicate the things I've done here. Alt here. I've done this with Alt. Move tool, Alt, and duplicate. Let's put it there. So Basically, we have this and that. We can leave this like that, a nice effect, or we need to put this on the mask. So because the image is already on the text, I need to put right click here and create clipping mask. It will go inside and right click here, create clipping mask, and then it will go inside. So you can see the two effect. We can do control plus and we can adjust opacity here if it's strong too much we can go here to the layer and do opacity and take this down now if i want the text combined with the background i will go here open new layer shift backspace and choose black that's all this is the effects i've done thank you